Next is turning one of these cylinders into a more bellied form. <clears throat> Turn it up, then push it over to the side and down in one action. Hold steady and slowly take your hands off. Okay, cylinder, so we drill a hole. I was just going to clean it off, so you want me to clean it off? Stop there. And open it up. Make a belly form, so on a slightly narrower base. make a box hand with my left I'll be pinching here with my right so I leave my right hand in that position with my fingers running around in the corner there and squeeze my left bring that clay up to there Sponge in front of my fingertips, push down, in and under, pinch, thumb and knuckle. Inside fingertip pushes against the knuckle. Now I allow this to spread on the inside. So I'm lifting more on the inside than the outside now. It gets me to there. steel ribs. The inside one I need to hold on those two fingers and I hang on to it in the back of that nail and that thumb. The outside rib mainly sits, hangs between those two fingers with a thumb in the middle which gives me the flex. Hold the ribs directly opposite each other and if I wish to stretch it I offset them slightly and that balloons it but as I get back down to the bottom bring the ribs back together. Now hold the outside rib and cradle the shape. The inside rib works its way back from the bottom up to the top. And then I'll fold around, up and around with the outside rib. The closer I get to the end of the pot, the more gentle I have to be. The time to get the water out. Now if I want to work on the rim of this pot, I don't put water on anymore, I just put Collect little bits of slurry and place them on the areas that I need to manipulate. I'm going to try and ease that in a little bit. Now, just by using one, one dry fingertip on the inside against the dry wall on the inside, carefully cradle the outside shape with the ribs. Very slowly work my way from the bottom to the top. Trying to finesse the form. Once again, the more gentle I am at this stage, the better finish I will achieve.
that one. Mm -hmm. 